One of my Same favorite guys is also boxing tonight, Shannon Taylor. We're in the dressing room. Paul of them has Shannon. Thanks, Colonel. As we get closer to our main event, it's very tense down here. I've got the blast of Shannon Taylor with me. I've been watching you for the last few months, Shannon, and you really seem to have that determination back. The blaster is back. Uh, Lee Carmen, you know, the new trainer in the last uh, six months has uh, done a great job. And, you know, you'll see, see when I take off my robe and I get in the ring. And, you know, I'm very focused and... Uh, you know, I've been wanting to fight in front of the Melbourne crowd for a long, long time, and uh, you know, I thank God for every day that uh, I can. I'm able to go to training and and, and live a live a, another day in the gym because of uh, you know, the, you know, my bad behaviour before could have cost me my life and my career. But God's allowed me to come back. Now I know you've got your eye on the IBF champion Cassie Muma. What's he going to see tonight? Well, hopefully you'll see the real Shannon Taylor blow someone away in a few rounds, you know, but uh, this guy's a very tough kid and you've got a draw for the WF World title last fight. Um, you know, he went a few rounds of love more to do, so, you know, and Lovemore's a great puncher and got plenty of speed and he's, he's proved it over there in America a few times lately and over the last 12 months, so, you know, I'm going to do my job and uh, everyone says good luck and that, but I tell you now, luck's made in the gym and uh, I'm going to be very lucky because I've done a lot of work. There you go, Colonel Shannon Blaster Taylor. He's ready to go out there and get win by knockout. Okay, thank you very much, Paul Oppen, and uh, we're uh, glad to hear from Shannon Taylor and what a turnaround in his life, thanks to what Tony Caradonna and Glenn Wheatley have done to get this kid organized. He, as you know, the story behind Shannon uh, uh, just was totally dejected when he uh, lost his world title shot a few years ago to Shane Mosley, and there you get an uh, opportunity to see Jose Ruben Diaz, who will be the guy who's taking on Shannon Taylor. Ruben Diaz coming here from Uruguay, and it should be an interesting fight. I don't plan you have a lot to do tonight, but I want to give you the opportunity to express how thrilled you are with Sammy Solomon one more time. Well, Sammy's just one of the, the, the classics. I mean, he is such a, a champion, and he's become such a great friend as well. I mean, uh, I, we support him. He's gone through some troubles. He's gone through some to hell and back, actually, and, and uh, to see him back here more focused, fitter than I've ever seen him. I mean, I've never seen him fitter in my life. He has trained so hard, and he really wants to position himself. He wants one more shot at a world title, and he's not going to give in until he gets there. Well, he's working very hard, and, you know, I've said it at uh, various speaking engagements here around the country and uh, up at the Penrith Panthers Club when I had the opportunity to speak about some of your local fighters here, how proud I am of Shannon because, you know, anybody can have an easy road and stay successful and uh, continue to be successful. But when you're down, and he was down and out, he had a serious drug problem. Tony Caradonna and you, Glenn, got him under your wing, and he at least had the intelligence to realize, yeah, I got a real problem. I'm going to straighten my, my life out with his problem. Partner Rebecca and his daughter uh, Natalia has yeah, just turned his whole life around and I, I, I just want to give you a lot of credit you see them taking a knee and having a prayer before they come out here. Thank you. Look, there's no doubt about that. I mean, Shannon is more focused than he's ever been and he is an inspiration. I mean, he's one of these guys that, you know, he'll turn up backstage at a, at a John Farnham and a, and a Tom Jones concert and he is just a delight to be with. I mean, they all love him. They all just think, oh my God, you know, we're here with Shannon. This guy, they know his history. They know what he's been up against. And he's going to...